Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome back to another brief tutorial. Today I'm going to share how you can simply add your logo to your WordPress website using the WordPress backend as well as the popular Divi theme and Elementor page builder. Okay, so before we launch into this brief tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out the way, let's go ahead and add your logo to your WordPress website using these three methods. <laughs> Okay, so the first simple method that we want to cover for adding your logo to your WordPress website is by logging into your WordPress backend and using appearances and customize. Okay, so once you've logged into your WordPress website, simply navigate over to appearance and then navigate over to customize. And under customize, this is where you can customize your website theme. So for example, if we navigate up to site identity, this is where we can simply add our logo to our primary menu in our website. At the moment you can see we have a blank logo. We currently do not have a logo for this website. Now to add a logo, simply navigate over to logo and click select logo. Then go ahead and click upload files. Then simply navigate down to select files. And then simply locate the logo that you want to add to your primary menu on your website. Then come down and click select. Here you have the option to crop your logo. What I'm going to do is skip cropping. And congratulations, just like that, you've added your new logo. Now once you've added your new logo, simply navigate up to publish. And just like that, your new logo has now been published onto your live website. So what we're going to do now is exit back to our dashboard. Now, just quickly before we dive into the next method, if you do not currently have a logo for your website or for your business brand, then what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the process of creating your own logo completely for free using Canva, which is a completely free design tool. So again, if you currently do not have a logo for your business, go ahead and use Canva to create your own logo. Now, back inside your WordPress dashboard, the second method for adding your logo to your WordPress website is by using the Elementor Page Builder plugin. Now, Elementor makes it extremely easy for you to build your website from the front end, which is ideal for beginners that don't have any technical experience or web designing experience. You can simply use the Elementor page builder to drag and drop different elements to create your website. You can also simply access pre-made professional page templates that you can use on your website and then change and customize the way that you like. Okay, so to simply add a logo to your WordPress website using the Elementor Page Builder plugin, all we need to do is navigate to the front end of our website. Simply head up to the top left hand corner and click visit site. And then what we can do is navigate over to edit with Elementor. Then simply navigate up to the edit header section and click here. Then navigate over to the logo on the left hand side and click here. Now with Elementor, what we can do is actually customize the logo that we uploaded. We can navigate down to alignment and change the alignment. We can also navigate up to style and change the width, the height down here, and then we have more options down here. Okay, so that's how you can use Elementor to customize your logo. So what I'm going to do is come down and click update and then navigate down to the bottom of our page. And then down here you can see we have a footer. Now what I want to do is add a logo to our footer using Elementor. To do that, click Edit Footer. And then what I can do is simply go ahead and drag the site logo down into this section here if I want to add my logo down here. Or I can go ahead and add an image. So for example, if I click Image and drag that and drop that in here, I can then go ahead and click Choose Image and I'm going to upload a variation of my logo and then click insert media 
And as you can see, I've added my logo to my footer. Now what I can do is navigate up to style and then change the sizing of this logo. I like the look of that. I can also navigate back to content and then change the alignment if I like. And then when you've made any changes, simply come down and click update. And that is how you can add your logo to your footer as well as customize the logo in both your header and footer of your website. Now remember, if you make any changes in your footer as well as in your header, those are going to show on every page of your website. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is log into another website where I have the Divi theme enabled and I'm going to quickly show you how to upload your logo to WordPress using the Divi theme. Okay, so to upload a logo to your WordPress website using Divi, simply navigate down to the left hand side and locate Divi and then simply navigate over to logo and click upload to upload your logo. Then click on your logo and come down and click set as logo. And then all you need to do is click save changes. And again, Divi is a premium theme that you can install onto your WordPress website that allows you to simply use the Divi visual drag and drop builder to build your website pages with absolute ease. Now, if you currently do not use Divi or Elementor, what I'll do is link a few videos down below that you can check out to help you understand how you can leverage the Divi theme as well as the Elementor page builder to simply create your WordPress website. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and check out my logo. And here you can see our logo that we uploaded to the Divi theme. Now, what I can also do is head back to our dashboard and then navigate down to appearance and then click on customize and then navigate up to header and navigation then click on primary menu bar this is where we can customize the size of our logo and again once you've made any changes simply click publish and just like that you now know how to simply add your logo to your wordpress website using the wordpress customizer the divi theme and the elemental page builder plugin and there we have it that is it for today's tutorial helping you add your logo to your wordpress website now if you have any questions about this tutorial make sure to pop them down below and with that said thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end if you got value make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way i'll see you in the next video take care guys